Hey guys, it's Z here back with another tutorial and I hope you all are doing great. So guys, today in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make this time slice along with that horizontal slide too. So without wasting any time, let's get straight into it. So guys, get your clips ready in CapCut, import it in your timeline. Now, first of all, we will give it some keyframes. So for that, select the clip and give it canvas first and select blur. Then I'll give it some basic zoom in and zoom out, which I have taught you guys before too in many tutorials. So I'll just do that here. One keyframe at the starting, one at the next speed. And then I wanted to give it a zoom out first. So I'll just zoom in on both of these keyframes around 300, 300 with the first one and 300 on the second one. Then at the middle, just change the scale back to 100. Then for the next zoom in, add a keyframe at the next speed and reduce the size to 75 then go to the next speed add one keyframe there then at the middle just zoom in how much you want i'll just keep it around 130 or 150 after that just give it the graph and then just copy paste these keyframes on the next two beats too so let me tell you the graphs once again give graph to the first keyframe then move it a little bit down at the starting and move it back like this then give graph to the second keyframe and make it go straight from the ending and a little bit straight from the starting too, just like this. Then for the other beat, just give graph to the second keyframe and drag it straight and forward from the back and the front side, just like this. And make it a little bit down at the starting. Like in the front, it should be a little bit down. So these are the graphs that you're gonna do here and now just select all of these copy and paste them on the other two beat and you can adjust them like if it's going out of the beat or if it's too small you can just adjust it by yourself and after this all you have to do is just export this clip and then we're gonna import it back and start giving it the time slice now guys the time slice is quite easy all you have to do is just copy paste your clip then go to mask give it film strip this one then you can just adjust the size of the slice like you have to make the whole clip in strips with the help of mask so first of all i'll just keep this mask up i'll have to just mask the whole clip into strips and make sure that it covers all of your clip so first of all i'll just mask it and move it up like this then i'll just copy paste it after moving one frame forward and then I'll have to drag the masks down. Just try to do the same as I'm doing. I just copy paste it after moving one frame forward. And then you have to see that I have adjusted the mask down like this. Now, if you want to make it easier and divide the whole clip in perfect strips, what you can do is enable grids. So for that, you have to click on these three lines and there you can see these grids and lines. You can just drag from the top and put it where the mask is ending. Then just copy paste your clip after going one frame forward and then adjust the mask according to this line. Then move the line back to where this mask is ending. Then go one frame forward and copy paste your clip and then move the mask according to this line. And then just repeat the process until you reach the very end of the clip and your whole clip will be masked and that's just literally it this is how you can make this time slice i'll just fast forward it right now and show you the result and one more thing i would like to mention if your device is lagging you can just select all of these clips and compound clip it and then render the timeline because it lags a lot because there are so many layers you added after one frame so that's why it lags so i'll just compound clip all of this and then render it now, as you guys can see, this is how the time slice works. Now you have to just export it and import back in your timeline and give it motion blur and your time slice will be done. And for the motion blur settings, you can keep the blur around 60 or if that does not work, you can keep the blur at 60 and blend to 10 or 15, that should work. And that's it, this is how you can make this time slice in CapCut. Now let's move on to the slide one. Now guys, for the slide, you will need Two clips and both of these should be around two beats long because the slide will be placed between two beats so make sure that they are of two beats long i don't really have another clip here so i'll just copy paste the same clip and just mirror it just to show you guys 
Now for the first beat, I don't really have to do much. I'll just simply give it a simple zoom in, one keyframe at starting and one at the middle, then just simply zoom in. Now what you have to do is put the second clip right above this keyframe, right above the second keyframe on the first clip and make sure that it's ending at the next beat, then give it a scale and X and Y keyframe there. And now you can move this clip to whatever side you want. I'll just move it to the right side, just like this out of the stream. Then for the lower clip, make sure that the first clip ends around at the center of the next beat, just like this. Now what you have to do is just simply select both of these. Now with the help of your mouse, you can just drag the clip to the left side and make the second clip come in the center, just like this. And you can also add zoom in if you want. And that's just it. This is how you can make the slide. Now it all depends upon the graph to make it smooth. So for the graphs, you have to follow the same things that I'm doing here and listen carefully. So first of all, open the keyframe animation, give graph to the second keyframe. I'm not really going to do a good graph for the first beat. So for the second one, you will have to just make it go a little bit straight and just a little bit up like this. And for the next keyframe, the third one, you'll have to give it the graph and make it go forward like this and a little bit down. Now make sure that you have to do the same graph as you did in scale with X and with Y too. So give graph to the second keyframe of X and make it straight. And then for the second keyframe of it, just make it go straight. And at the same place where the first blue line was ending at the second keyframe, make sure that the same happens with the X, same happens with the Y, and same happens with the upper clip too. So I'm just gonna show you guys here. I'm not gonna talk much because I don't know if you guys are understanding what I'm trying to say. So just watch and learn. So guys, these were the graphs that we had to do for the slide. Now it's kind of looking odd. So I just added a simple zoom out at the ending just to make it look good for the preview. So now the next thing is simple. You have to just export it and import it back in your timeline and give it the time slice. So do the same method, like import the clip back here. Now what you need to do is just copy paste it and split it where the slide was starting just right here and then just you can mask it go to mask click on film strip and for these we are doing horizontal ones so we're gonna make it a little bit big like around 800 or 900 size my screen ratio is 980 x so i'll just keep it around between 850 or 900 so just mask the whole clip and strip go one frame forward and then do the same method as I taught you guys before. Just go one frame forward, move the mask down, then go one frame more forward, and again, move the mask down until you reach the very end of the clip. And after doing all of this, make sure that if you have added anything else in the clip, like I have added a zoom out. So where that zoom out is starting, you have to split all of these layers right at that point. So I'll just do that. And after this, your slide and the time slice is done. You can just simply select all of this, export it and import it back in your timeline and give it motion blur. Just keep the blur around 50 or 60. That should work. And that's it, guys. This is how you can make this time slice in CapCut with this slide too. I hope you guys understood this tutorial. See you guys in another video. Till then, bye-bye.